Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Akakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, well, Akim or Akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, Daniel 12, verse 1 through verse 4. And this is uh, the prophet Daniel 12, verse 1. And it reads It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, who is standing for the children of thy people, right? The Israelites. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, right? The Israelites, Judah, and Jerusalem. And everyone shall be found written in the book, right? The Israelites. Daniel 12, verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall wait to everlasting life, write some to everlasting life for the Israelites, and some to shame, and some uh, to everlasting content. That's how the balance of the Heavenly Father is. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 verse Not Ecclesiastes, my apology Daniel 12 verse 3 It says, and they that be wise shall shine As the brightness of the firmament And they that turn many to righteousness As the stars forever and ever uh, The prophet uh, Daniel 12 verse 4 And it reads the holy scriptures But thou, O Daniel, shut the birds and sealed the book Even to the time of the end Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased Right, so we're going to be entering in a great troubling time like never before because Michael the Archangel is going to have to stand up for the children of my people, which is the Israelites, you know. Just like he did in ancient times, we're going to see the modern day times. And uh, like the scripture says in Daniel 12, verse 4, uh, shut, the book, so, uh, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall increase. Right, so there's going to be a time where in these uh, modern day times, you know, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Especially uh, Amos 8 verse 11, you know, it's going to be a famine of the word as well too. For lack of bread, for lack of water, but the hearing of the words of the Lord, your high thy power. And they want, they shall, and they shall run to and fro, trying to seek the words of the Lord, your high and shall not be able to find it. So definitely many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. So with that, this was just a quick sit down lesson of uh, the prophet Daniel's 12 verse 1 to verse 4. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.